Hey, Xander Holt here, the primal sex expert. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how does exercise help sexually? A key to rock solid performance, as long as you avoid certain activities. Now, I'm gonna talk about how you help both you and your partner. This works for men and women. We're gonna talk about the muscles that are critical for sexual performance and sexual desire. We're gonna talk about simple exercises that target those muscles in a very effective way that don't require a gym. And then we're gonna talk about exercises to avoid that actually tank your sexual performance and your sexual desire. And in a moment, I'm gonna talk about how you can actually take those exercises that are tanking your sexual performance and desire with a simple tweak, turn them around and actually have them boost it massively. Very powerful technique. So first of all, let's talk about the muscles that are required for sexual performance and sexual desire. Well, first of all, the glutes or the butt muscles, okay? Those are the strongest muscles in the body, or at least they should be. And when those are strong and when they're working correctly, most people don't use them correctly, we'll talk about that in a second, it gets lots of blood flow down into your pelvic region, which really helps with sexual desire and sexual performance. And then we've got the pelvic floor muscles, which are really important for sexual desire and sexual performance in both men and women. This first exercise is called the single leg glute bridge, and it's one of the most powerful sexual exercises there is. So how this works is you're gonna lift one leg up and then you bring your butt up. And then once it's up, you squeeze it for a five second hold and then let it down slowly. I'm a physical therapist by trade, and in one of the PT journals I read, they did all these EMG studies on various exercises. This single leg glute bridge activates the glutes better than any other exercise they looked at. Plus, you get this pelvic thrust, which of course is very helpful in sex. So, what I recommend is starting off with 10 and then working up to 20 on each side. Now the second exercise is Kegel exercises. I'm going to show you a basic form of that today. So with the Kegel exercises, we're working the PC muscles. When you go to pee, if you stop the flow of pee, those are your PC muscles that stop that flow. So you're going to contract those PC muscles and hold for 5 to 10 seconds then relax for five to 10 seconds. You're gonna do that for 10 times, and then you're gonna work up to 20 times, okay? And it's been, it will increase the hardness of your erections, it will help you overcome premature ejaculation, and it also helps increase an orgasmic intensity in both men and women. So what exercises do we want to avoid? We want to avoid long cardio, like 20, 30 minutes on the treadmill, the problem with that is it increases our cortisol, our stress level, and decreases our testosterone. And testosterone is not critical for sex drive in both men and women. And it's also critical for morning wood in men. And we also want to avoid long bike riding, at least if we're sitting on the seat. You know, in the last video, we talked about prolonged sitting and erectile dysfunction. Well, this is even worse because it's prolonged sitting with all this bumping going up against your pelvic floor. And it's been shown to cause penile numbness as well as erectile dysfunction in some men. And we also want to avoid long resistance training, like we're in the gym working out for more than 45 minutes. You want to keep it to 30 to 45 minutes max because if you go over that, once again, cortisol goes up, testosterone goes down. So how can we turn this around? Well, instead of doing these long cardio sessions, Instead of it tanking your sex drive, to increase it and increase your erections, what you can do is do short cardio really intensely. So high intensity interval training. There's different types. Tabata is one of the easiest. So you're doing something, say like you're sprinting really fast for 20 seconds, as fast as you can, but then you rest for 10 seconds. And then you go 20 seconds again as fast as you can, then you rest for 10 seconds. And you repeat that eight times. So in four minutes, you get all this benefit. You get a boost in testosterone instead of decreasing your testosterone. That way you can do cardio and still get the sexual benefits. 
All right, so if you've done that for yourself, please comment below if you've gone to long cardio, to high intensity interval training instead, and let me know what your results were. How did it affect your sexual functioning and your libido, your sex drive? And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you're notified when more videos are released. And you want to do that because I'm going to release a lot more videos when it comes to exercise, your sex drive, and your sexual functioning. All right, so in our next video, what we're going to talk about is how to overcome porn-induced erectile dysfunction, even if you've been addicted to it for decades like I was. All right, I'll see you in the next video.